Hi girls and boys, welcome back. It's the week of October 26th through the 30th, and this is day two. Let's review everything you're going to need. Our nameplate, make sure you pull that out. And we are going to use a dry erase marker. We're going to be using some Play-Doh along with our letter. And this is our letter we're going to be reviewing. We talked about it yesterday. Can you tell me what letter this is? It's the, it's the capital letter E. And this is also an E. It's the small or lowercase E. So here's the front side of the sheet and here's the back side. The colored worksheet we're going to be using today is 58. It looks like this, it has a bat and an owl, looks like a raccoon, and also a spider. We're gonna be having fun with that. While we're finding different shapes, we're going to be using our black crayon. If you're having trouble knowing what color black is, I'll hold this color up. This is black. See if you can find the crayon in your box that's this color, black. Bats are black. Here's the last sheet you're going to need. Oh, I needed to erase mine from yesterday. Let's make sure you erased yours too. You want this in a plastic sleeve. This is page 83, and it has pictures on the front side and a bunch of numbers on the back side. We're gonna be talking about number eight today, eight. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? First, you need your nameplate. Go ahead and write your name, trace it. Some of you are getting to the point where you really don't need to have the dot to dots. You can do this on your own, and you can turn the sheet over if you like and have no guide. See if you can start doing that. Okay, let's trace your letters in your name. Take your time. It's not about speed. It's about being accurate and doing your best work. When you're through, turn it around and show it to me. Look at that. You did some great work out there. And others you're still writing. You take your time. Some of you have longer names. When you're through, make sure that you wipe it off. Because you want to be ready for next time we do this. And you're welcome to even have on days off an opportunity for yourself to write your name. That would be a great thing for you to do. Okay, let's pull out our E worksheet. And our E worksheet, we're gonna get our Play-Doh out and make the letter E. What color is your Play-Doh? Mine is a pretty blue. And if there are so many colors of Play-Doh, I wonder if any of you have the color black. When I was a kid, I don't even remember them having black Play-Doh, but they sure do now. Okay, roll it together so it's kind of like a snake. And then push this on. Here you go, it's a long straight line. Then we're gonna have three straight lines that are smaller. So get a small amount of Play-Doh and roll it. And this is the top line across here. So we have one going down and one going across. Now let's make a little small one right in the middle. Here we go. And there, is the middle line. It's not as long as the top or the bottom, is it? It's just a little bit smaller. Oop, I dropped my Play-Doh. That's okay. Here we go. So we have a long straight line. We have three lines that go across. There we have the capital E. We're going to be looking at some names in just a moment, and we have some students in the class, and their names begin with E. 
We're going to see if you can figure out who they are. Now for the lowercase e, or the small e, I'm going to put a straight line. They're going to need a little bit extra to make it go all the way around. See if you can make that go. I have to make mine even longer. Let's see what yours looks like. Not bad. Capital E and the small e. Uppercase, lowercase. Okay, let's put our Play-Doh away. Make sure it's in a safe spot. You have your lid on top. I know some parents don't like to have it out too much around carpet. So make sure that it's where it needs to be at your house. I'm going to welcome all of you here. And let's see if we come to an E name. We're going to say stop and we're going to look at the E and say the name. Hello, Justin. And Briggs. T Timmy. C Cash. C Christopher. Stop. I see an E. Now, who is this? I'll give you a clue. A girl. Evelyn. Evelyn. What's great about her name is there's a capital E and a lower case E. E-V-E-L-Y-N. Evelyn. So you're going to see both the capital and then the lower case. Upper case, lower case. She has two E's in her name. That's great, Evelyn. Stop! We have another E name. Elias. Elias. And his first letter says its own name. It says E. Elias. Ch Jessa. Stop. Who is this? This is Easton. E. Easton. Another E name. Hello, Kenley. K Carson. K Kaylee. Hayden. Caitlin, o, Owen, B, Bennett, and T, Treshawn. Thank you all for joining me today. It's always good to have my friends here. I'm going to have you do this on your own at home, the backside, the E worksheet, where you're going to make the long line and three small lines to make the capital E line across and then you swoop down and around. Look at that. Uppercase, lowercase. And you go across and you fill the page. So please do that. You may put your video on pause and come back to me when you're finished or you can do it at the end. It's up to you. Now let's go to this worksheet. I love this worksheet because we get a count and then circle the number. Here we have crayons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which number is seven? Four, five, six, seven. Remember seven goes across and then it angles down. That's a seven. See if you can find the seven and then circle it. Look at this one. It's the same number on top as bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight calculators. Five, six, seven, eight. This is the same shape on top as on the bottom. It's the number eight. Just like we have the same number up here as on the bottom, you see the same shape on top as bottom, we have the number eight. Usually when we write it, we say make an S and then curve back around. There is an eight. How about on the bottom here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. See if you can find the number that looks like this. That's a six. Oh, I see some of you are feeling like this is getting pretty easy. You know your numbers, don't you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here we have six, seven, eight, 
nine. The last one. We circle around and then have a stick on it. Let me see if I can make a better one. The number nine. Good work. If you keep using the sleeve, then you can reuse this worksheet over and over again. That's what I love about having a dry erase marker and a plastic sleeve. It allows you to use your worksheet several times. It's good for the environment and good for us to not have to use so much paper. It says circle the number eight. I'm gonna circle the number eight right now. I'll show you what the number eight looks like, a huge one. Look at that eight. We're on a, an eight hunt. We're searching for an eight. I found an eight. Can you find an eight? Good work. Keep looking. I remember that's a seven and that's a five. There's an eight. Did you circle the eight? Well, I know that's a two and that's a three. I found another eight. That's a nine, a zero. That's a six, a four. I found an eight. I found another eight. There are two more eights. Can you find them? Ah, I found one. Where's the last eight? Very good. Very good. Let's count all of the circles we made. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight eights. See if you found all eight eights. That was a fun worksheet. I like hunting for numbers. And for some reason, I find the number eight especially fun because it's just a fun number to make. You just curve around and back up. Or you can make two circles stack on top of each other. Here we go with our colored worksheet with shapes. I want you to get your black crayon out and we once again will be searching for triangles. But I'm going to give you a clue. Some of them are hard to find. Let's find the triangles. You can outline them. Some of you might want to color them all the way in, especially the little ones. Oh, look at this bat. What a fun fella he is, right? A bat. I found another triangle. So far, we found one, two, three, four triangles. There are several more. Look over at the owl. Oh, for the ears, we have some triangles. I found two there. Do you see some other triangles? For wings, look at that. Triangle, triangle. Let's count how many on the owl. One, two, three, four triangles, but there's a hidden one on his head. Do you see that triangle? And there's also a hidden one right there for his beak. We have lots and lots of triangles. Search and search. Are there any other triangles you can find? Let's head down to our friend the raccoon. Ears are commonly the triangles, aren't they? We had lots of ears as triangles. So we have two triangles for ears. How about down here? Anywhere else? <gasps> that silly tail with the stripes. Let's count how many triangles we found on the raccoon. One, two, three. Now I'm going to do a double look at this. I'm going to look and then look again to see if I missed any triangles. There were so many triangles. Let's count how many we found. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There were a lot of triangles right there. You did an excellent job with that. What we do in class this time of year, and actually all year, is we count to 20 when we wash our hands, don't we? Let's put on some soap, lather up our hands, and we're going to count to 20. We're going to wash the fronts, the backs, 
and I like to go like this to get your fingernails all nice and clean. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now let's rinse them off. Get a paper towel, dry them, and we're all through. That's a good activity for you to actually do at home too. Work on counting to 20 while you wash your hands. Here we have some colors. We're gonna review some colors and see if you can tell me the colors. First off, Trey Sean, the color is pink. Bennett, good job. Yellow. Owen, same color as a pumpkin. You got it, orange. Caitlin, what color is this? It is red, good job. How about Hayden? White, you got it. How about Kaylee? This is blue. I have on a blue shirt too. You see there's sometimes different shades of blue. Blue. How about Carson? Purple. Some of you are getting so fast at the colors now, I love it. Kenley, can you tell me this color? Brown bear, brown bear. What do you see? It's brown, good job. How about Easton? Color of grass, it's green. How about Jessa? That's the color that we've been studying all week long. It's the color, think about a little bat flying through the air. What color is it? Black, very good. You might even see a black cat this time of year. We have a great story. It's called Apples and Pumpkins. And this is by Ann Rockwell. And then the person who draws the pictures is called the illustrator, and that's Lizzie Rockwell. So let's read and see what we think. This is a title page. When red and yellow leaves are on the trees, that's this time of year, isn't it? We go to the Comstock farm to pick apples and pumpkins. Have any of you ever gone to a farm to pick apples? That's a fun thing to do this time of year. Mrs. Comstock gives us a bushel basket to put our apples in. Here we have a bushel basket. Geese and chickens and a big fat turkey walk with us on our way to the orchard where the apples grow. So they have some friends with them. There we have the gobble gobble turkey. We have some ducks. And look at that, the chick. Or actually these look like they could be geese too. Here we have my father picks apples, my mother does too. I climb into a little apple tree and pick the reddest apples of all. You don't wanna climb up in a tree unless you know it's safe. You wanna ask your parents. When our basket is full of red and shiny apples, yum. I wonder if they're going to eat them. We go to the field where the pumpkins grow. I look and look until I find the best pumpkins of all. It's called a pumpkin patch. My father cuts it from the vine. See, daddy's cutting the vine. I carry it back to the car. Pumpkins can be very heavy. At home we carve a jack-o'-lantern face on our big orange pumpkin. You have to be careful because it takes a knife and an adult to help for sure. We put a candle inside and light it. Now our pumpkin looks scary and funny too. On Halloween night, we put our pumpkin on the doorstep. 
My mother gives away lots of our red and shiny apples for trick or treat. I see a pirate. I see a ghost. And I see a princess. What do you think that looks like? The big long tail? Looks like it might be a devil. While I go trick-or-treating up and down our street, we have a witch and looks like an alien. Make sure to go to the description box below and look at the video that I suggest, and I hope you have a great day. Goodbye, boys and girls.